Capecast. Howdy, folks. Welcome to Capecast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times. Today we're on Lieutenant Island in South Wellfleet, and we're taking a look at some old whale bones. Well, we're here, very cozy, <laughs> with Don and Sue. We're on Lieutenant Island in Wellfleet, and we're looking for something that might be a, a pilot whale graveyard. Don, what's up with that? Holy mackerel, a pilot whale graveyard? Sounds like something out of Tarzan, doesn't it? Well, I don't know. It seems like you guys have found some stuff about making your rounds here in Lieutenant Island. What have you seen? About two months ago, we were scurrying down the beach, and we saw what looked like a fossilized bone just exposed right behind us here. It was kind of cool, Eric, and we want to figure out what the heck it was. And so you're saying the bones indicate some age? This means like an ancient grouping of whales a thousand years ago coming up and, and maybe expiring on the beach? It's possible. We don't know exactly when they stranded. So evidence indicates that it was many years ago, but exactly how many years, we're not sure. Could have been 10 years, could have been 100 years, could, could have been thousands of years. We found uh, a piece of bone. It uh, looks like fossilized bone that's uh, protruding from the, uh, or extruding from the sand. And so what we did is we uh, tried to excavate to see if we could figure out what that bone could be, what lies beneath. As you can see, we're sloshing around a lot of water inside the pit, and it's making it pretty difficult because for every shovel full of sand that we pull out, the water dumps another shovel full of sand back in. My goodness, if I thought it was fossilized bone when I saw it, now that I'm hefting this thing, you can feel the weight. It doesn't feel like bone that I'm picking up. It feels like stone. Must be 75, 100 pounds of just pure bone that I'm picking out of this. It's the skull of a pretty large, long-finned pilot whale. Fossils occur when there's a change in the structure. They're minerals that seep into the bone and start to replace some of the original bony structure. But at this point in time, we're looking at changes on the surface. We're looking, we make observations on changes in density and, and texture and color in the surface material itself. We also have um, lots of different layers of soil that were built up around it that indicate there was a passage of time that took place. All right, so Don, you finished up uh, with the whale bone there. What do you do with it? Well, right now we put it back. We put everything back the way that we found it. We did the initial assessment. We've determined that it is indeed a long finned pilot whale. We got a, some sense of the timing. It's been here for a while. It's been stuck in a former uh, peat salt marsh. And so now we need to bring in some real experts to go over and see if they can tease out the last details that we need from this. We've turned the information over to Mass Audubon, and uh, they're thinking about making this a project for their high school students to bring them out here, excavate some of the bones that we found, and see if they can determine what it is we have. So how common is a find like this, a semi-old looking thing that's mysterious? For me, it's unique. This is the first time that I've located a, uh, um, a skeleton structure that seems to be fossilized here on Lieutenant Island. But if you look around us, you can see there's an awful lot of erosion taking place. And so who knows, Eric, we might be out here in another year or so excavating dinosaurs. Well, I wanted to ask you, Don, there's, there's no way this is a dinosaur head and it's a really scary Jurassic thing? No, unless it's a Jurassic pilot whale. Hey, Cass.